A rug or carpet provides a substantial part of a home's worth. Have you ever wondered what a million dollar ancient carpet looks like? Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover the Clark Sickle Leaf Carpet, sold for $33.7 million. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. A 17th century Persian rug sold for $33.7 million more than doubles the previous carpet auction record. On Wednesday at Sotheby's in New York, the winning offer for the Clark Sickle Leaf carpet was made anonymously. The carpet and others were given to the Corcoran Gallery of Art by William Clark, an entrepreneur and US Senator from Montana in 1926. The profits from the sale of that and 24 other carpets will be used to support future purchases at the Washington DC Monument. A Persian rug sold by Christie's in London in April 2010 set the previous selling record of $9.6 million. Sotheby's predicted a selling price of up to $9 million and four bidders battled for more than 10 minutes over the carpet. The winning offer was received over the phone. The results of the sale thrilled Corcoran's director, who stated in a statement that the museum was thrilled. The carpet, along with many others, has been kept in storage by the museum. The carpet is said to be from Kerman in southeast Iran and dates from the first half of the 17th century. The last time it was on exhibit at the Corcoran was in 2008. The carpet featured one of the most unusual vase method designs, according to the auction house, and seemed to be the only known such rug with a red backdrop. A Persian carpet, also known as Iranian carpet, is a thick textile manufactured in Iran historically known as Persia, for a range of practical and symbolic reasons. It is produced for household use, local sale and export. Weaving carpets is an important aspect of Persian culture and Iranian art. The Persian carpet distinguishes out among the oriental carpets produced by the nations of the rug belt because of the diversity and complexity of its many patterns. Nomadic tribes, village and urban workshops and royal court manufactories all woven Persian carpets and rugs of different kinds simultaneously. As a result, they represent different, concurrent lines of tradition and reflect Iran's history and varied peoples. The carpets woven at Isfahan's Safavid Royal Manufactories during the 16th century are known for their ornate colours and artistic design, and are now prized in museums and private collections throughout the globe. Their patterns and designs established an aesthetic legacy for palace manufactories that were carried on throughout the Persian Empire and up to Iran's final royal dynasty. Carpets made in Tabriz, Kerman, Neishabur, Mashhad, Kashan, Isfahan, Nain and Qom are distinguished by their unique weaving methods and use high quality materials, colours and designs. Tabriz's town factories have played a significant historical role in restoring the carpet weaving heritage after decades of collapse. Fine wool, vivid and complex colours and unique traditional designs characterise Iranian rugs made by communities and diverse tribes. In contrast to the beautiful pre-planned patterns of bigger companies, nomadic and small village weavers typically create rugs with bolder and sometimes rougher motifs, which are regarded as the most genuine and traditional carpets of Persia. Gaba rugs are the most well-known carpets from this style. During periods of political instability or under the influence of economic demands, the art and skill of carpet weaving has declined. During the second half of the 19th century, it was especially harmed by the advent of synthetic colours. In contemporary Iran, carpet weaving is still a significant component of the economy. The restoration of traditional dyeing and natural colours, the return of ancient tribal patterns, as well as the creation of new and creative design woven in the centuries-old method define current manufacturing. Since the earliest mention of hand-woven Persian carpets and rugs by ancient Greek authors, they have been considered as items of great aesthetic and practical worth and reputation. Although pile-woven textiles are most often associated with the name Persian carpet, flat-woven carpets and rugs such as kilim and sumac, as well as embroidered tissues like suzani, are all part of the rich and varied heritage of Persian carpet weaving. Fars province and Kashan's traditional techniques of carpet making were inscribed on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage lists in 2010. Following the Iranian Revolution, little information on carpet weaving in Iran was available initially. Gaba carpets, which were originally made by nomadic tribes for their personal use, sparked a renewed interest in Europe in the 1970s and 1980s. Western consumers liked their coarse weave and simple abstract patterns. Persian carpets are under competition from other nations with lower salaries and less expensive manufacturing techniques as commercial home goods, machine woven, tufted rugs, as well as rugs made by hand, but using the quicker and less expensive loop weaving technique. Produced carpets with oriental patterns 
that are functional but not artistically valuable. Handwoven carpets made of sheep wool coloured with natural colours are becoming more popular. They are typically offered at a premium price owing to the numerous amount of human labour involved in their manufacture, which has largely remained unchanged since ancient times, and the aesthetic significance of their design. As a result, the Persian carpet maintains its historical reputation as a luxurious, beautiful and artistic item. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.